fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with a kit up of my next kit. I'm going to be kitting up the Christmas Bunny by Genovia Art. This is from Diamond Art Club. It is a 50 by 50 ish. I've got 35 colors. I've already got them separated into DMC. I'm going to be using my bottle cases. So I've got my Bella funnel for my bottles. I only have 35 colors, but several of these I have multiple bags of one color. So I have some extra stickers here so I can write those on the overflow bottles and we'll see how many I get where. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have done this in my Elizabeth Ward, but there's only 35 colors, so I'm gonna do it this way and I'll just see how it works out. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start out and put all of the ABs and the one fairy dust at the beginning. I know they put their fairy dust at the end typically, but I'm gonna put it at the beginning just because that way I'll know all the ABs and the fairy dust are together. So let me get the stickers put on the bottles here. Maybe that doesn't make sense to some of you, but that's the way how I'm, I'm gonna do it because it makes sense to do it that way to me. I also have some extra ABs that I have pulled out that I will be using in the kit. I, I wanted to order some additional fairy dust drills from DP with sparklers, but I'm not sure which ones to order. I don't think they would get here in time anyway. And I want to get this kitted up and get it ready to go because I don't have anything else to work on. I suddenly realized after I finished the Halloween gnome that I don't have anything else kitted up and ready to go because I hadn't done this one yet. And I don't even know for sure what kit I'm working on after this one. So yeah, I needed to get busy and get going on this one. So I had one escape. Ooh, I may need overflow for this one. This was a white one. All right, so I already need an overflow one which, I, what did I say, this had 35 colors, so I will have, what is that, 15 overflow ones, but, all right, so there's those, and then I have three packages of this 150, so do I wanna put them all, I don't know if I want to put all of them in one bottle, or if I wanna do multiple bottles. Maybe I'll do multiple bottles. I have enough, it probably doesn't matter. We'll say five maybe will be enough. I don't know if that really will be enough, but we'll see. I could just fill up one bottle and then put the extra packages of drills in the pocket of the bottle case. But I really just, I prefer having everything already in bottles so that I don't have to worry about doing that just how my brain works. All right, I'm trying to get all the threes labeled here. And one of them, this one obviously is going to need more than one container probably, but let's start with the 150s. I'm just, I thought I was ahead of schedule and then all of a sudden I realized, oh goodness, I don't even have anything kitted up and ready to go. I finished the Halloween gnome and I was like, all right, I'm gonna work on the rabbit next. And then I realized, oh, I don't have the rabbit kitted up. Oops, let me go do that real quick. <laughs> all right, that could probably fit some more in it, but let me put this in here. I also spent some time this weekend putting some random acts of kindness together. So hopefully those will be going out soon. Oh, I got that one a lot more full. Okay. So let's put that one over there. I'm gonna leave those spilled ones there just in case I spill some more and I'll just pick them all up later. All right, so that's not too terrible. I have three bags and I think I'm gonna get them all basically into four bottles. That one's pretty full. All right, let me get this last one in here. I think I have a couple of other colors that I have multiple bags of, but I don't think any of them, ooh, is that static? Because it's sad, I've kind of gotten to the point where when I spill, I'm like, well, I'll just pick them all up at the end because I know I'm gonna spill. 
It must be static because this one is not completely full. Make sure I got all of these. So that was a little weird. That last one had static, but the other ones, the last bag of that color had static, but the other ones didn't. All right. Okay, let me get these in order that they go. Okay, so 318, I'm probably going to have multiple bottles, but we'll see. I think everything else I can get in one. I may have to go get my static guard because some of these have a little bit of static, which is kind of funny because the other ones that I've done have not had a bunch of static. So I wonder why this one does. All right, number five. Nope, number five is 317. All right, and then this should fit in one bag and then that'll end my first row, which should make it, makes my little heart happy because it ends evenly on a row. That's always what I want. All right. I do have to sometimes press down on these because I use the washi tape. Diamond Art Club stickers usually come off pretty good, but you never know. So I just try to be careful. All right. I might need two bottles for this. Let's see. That's not completely full, but I don't think I'm gonna get all of it in there. So I'm just gonna split it up into two bottles, just to be safe. All right, and that one did not have static, so that makes me happy. Okay, now I need number seven. And like I said, I have noted on here that little dot means that I have an AB or a pixie dust drill that I'm going to use with that particular color. A little bit of static in this one too. Ooh, more than a little bit. Look at that sticking in there. All right, then number eight and number nine. There was a drill stuck on the bottom there. All right, and then We'll move into the 400s, and I think I have several in the fours that are going to need multiple bottles, so I guess we'll see. Maybe I should have started at the back with this one. I do that sometimes, but not always. These all look kind of full. This one for sure, I'm going to need multiple bottles. This one maybe. Maybe I won't have enough bottles. I'll have to see. Like I said, I could have kitted this up in my... Elizabeth Ward, but I just thought, well, I'll use my bottle cases for this because I thought it would be simpler with only 35 colors, but I guess I'll find out. I did talk to my daughter to see if she was feeling any better. They've got her on some medications for her symptoms, and the test they were waiting on came back, but she said it came back negative, and I said, well, what are they going to do now? And she's like, well, I don't think anything. I'm like, so you're just supposed to take whatever this medication is for the rest of your life. They're not going to try and figure out what it is that's wrong with you. I mean, me personally, not that I would be thrilled on being medication because I'm facing that and I'm not, but also I want to know why they're giving it to me. And if you are just giving it to me because you don't know what else to do, that doesn't really bode well either. All right. I'm pretty sure this one's going to need two bottles, but we'll see. Oh yeah, so that one's pretty full. And then I'm definitely gonna need multiple bottles with this last red, but how many is the question? Cause I'm rapidly gonna run out of extra ones. So that one's gonna get left empty because until I use some of these up and I can rotate them down. I don't like putting this one here and then putting ones that aren't marked on the next row. So three bags of this, I'm going to guess at least four bottles, maybe. Maybe I should have done all the ones that I knew were only going to take one bottle first. Maybe I'll go back and start at the back and work my way forward a little bit and just see where that gets me. All right, so that one's not completely full, but pretty. 
pour the rest of these in here. See, it seems like one package, even though it's the same color, whoopsie do, that's not gonna go well for me. Oh no, they're gonna fall everywhere. Oh, that's my fault for filling it too full. Okay, let me pour some of these in here. See, they're jumping everywhere. All right. All right, there's that. Let's see if I can pour these in without spilling them all over everywhere again. Definitely static in this one. Let's see if I can get these last little ones in there. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just gonna go here because they're going everywhere. All right, super not thrilled with how much static was in that color. So I probably will end up breaking out my static guard and swabbing through these containers. That took five containers though. All right, these two should definitely only take one. And then I'll have to look through some of these and see which ones may only take one and which ones I may need multiples of. I've only got, well, five extra bottles that don't have labels on them, don't have washi tape on them. But I don't know if that means I'm going to need an extra bottle or not. Like, I feel like this one might fit in one, but then some of these other ones, I'm afraid they're gonna need more than one bottle. And I had 35, but I don't know how many of them had washi tape on them already and how many were the blank lids. So I think I'm gonna start at the back after I get done with these and work my way backwards. And we'll just see where I end up. All right, this one will all fit in one. Mm, oh, maybe. Yay, that did. It's pretty full, but it all fit in one. Okay, so this one I've got two bags of, this one I've got two bags of, this one is a very small one. But I said I was gonna start from the back. So 3801 is the last one. So I know for sure that's only gonna fit in one bottle. Even if it is kind of staticky. So that can go at the end. Now the next one is 37.99. But this one, I don't think that will fit in one bottle. So I'm gonna leave that there because these two will. So 37.12 and 37.31. All right, so 37.12. So this probably seems like a crazy way to do it, but this is going to let me keep track of how many bottles I need and which ones go where. If I fill up all the ones that only need one bottle to begin with, then I'll know how many extras I have. A Little bit of static in this one. Just a little bit there. Definitely I'm going to need to get out my static guard. All right, then 3688. And then I don't even know, I think the rest of them are all kind of, no, there might be a few more small ones. Let me look. Then those two look like they're gonna be big. So 3328, looks like it will fit in one bottle. Some of these might fit in one, but they might not. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it this way. I may end up still, even though I don't want to, with some where I have extra bags that are gonna get stashed in the, pop, the pouch of this, but that's okay. 956 and 961 can all go in one bottle. I'm just gonna do all, all out of order. It doesn't matter, does it? They're all eventually going to get put in the bottle case. I was looking at DP with sparklers because I wanted to try and get some pixie dust drills that I could use with this kit. I really wanted to get some of the gray pixie dust colors that are in this kit so it would look kind of metallic, but I don't, like I said, I don't think they would get here in time. And I don't have any more ABs in squares in that color, in any of those colors. So I'm kind of torn. I don't want to wait. These are all going to go. I don't want to hold up working on this kit to wait for those. So even though I would like to, I think what I'm going to do, I was looking at 
the website to see which ones it made the most sense for me to get. And I have some picked out, but also I need to get rounds and squares. And I can't decide if I should buy more rounds or more squares. I think I have more square kits left in my stash. Maybe that's what should decide me. I think I have more square kits left in my stash than I do rounds. So maybe I should invest in some more squares. Plus, I think I have more already. I have more round ABs than I do square ones. ABs and fairy dust. I put them all in the same place. So I want to get more fairy dust because I actually like them better than the ABs. And I feel like they work better with kits. So that's kind of where I want to spend my money. And I want to order some of them before... Oh, jeez. That was my fault. I didn't get it all the way open. So they poured out of the wrong spot. These ones aren't actually staticky for once. All right, so there's that one. And then I think 816, which I didn't put the sticker on yet. This is the last one that is going to be in one bottle. And of course it's staticky. So we're trying to massage some of these down into the bottles. It's so annoying sometimes. Now let's start going backwards here. We'll see if $37.99 will actually fit into one bottle. I don't think it's going to. Nope. That's almost completely full. All right. Okay, so I needed two bottles for that one. Then 3371. I might get this one and the next one all in one. We'll have to see. It's a bigger bag, but it's not completely full. So let's see if I can get it all in here. Ooh, maybe. A few jumpy ones, but I think, all right, those all went in one bottle. And then 3350. I've only got th four bottles left that don't have the washi tape on them, but I have several left that do have washi tape that I could use. Oh, is this all going to fit too? Oh, I think it is. Until they get jumpy. All right, those all fit in one. Okay. Then 902, maybe I should just do the 814 because I think all of the rest of these are probably going to take more than one bottle. So let's see here. I've only got two bags of 814 and 815, so maybe I'll only need three bottles each or maybe only... Yeah, three bottles. I was going to say only two, but then I just realized, no, I have two bags. I was thinking I was done with this bag, but no. All right, there's that one. All right, let's see. Fill up a second and then a third. Ugh, I don't know why some of these have no static and some of them are so bad. Okay, these are sticking to my fingers. Okay, so that one took three, so we'll put that there. And then we're going to do 815. I've got two more that don't have labels. And then I'm left with two colors, which will likely need more than one bottle. So I guess I'll just have to stick them on the washi tape. These bags don't feel as full as the other one, though. There's that one. Second bag doesn't feel as full. Guess we'll find out. Well, I thought I was going to get away with just two, but no. All right, after a bit of finagling, I did get those into just a two. Both pretty full, but just two. All right, then I need 844 and 902, and we'll see if I need multiples for these. I'm going to guess yes. It's already spilling everywhere. So put the rest of this in here. Seems like the reds have more static than everything else. I wonder why that is. 
All right, so then there's those two colors and then I need, so what I have left are bottles with washi tape on the top of them, but that's okay. I can just slap my stickers on top of them just like I could anything else and it will all be good. And see that looked like it didn't have any static at all. So why was the first one so annoying? So all of these bottles are empty. So let me move these back into the bottle case and then I will show you what it all looks like. All right, so here's the finished case. I ran out of my stickers to kind of label these other ones. So I need to make some more of those, but I labeled a few of them just so I could make sure I know which ones are which. And as I get them used up, then they'll get relegated back to the back. And I have all of these ABs and fairy dust that I'm gonna be using. Like I said, I really wanted to order like some of the silvers and grays, and I probably am gonna go ahead and order some of them, but I don't know if they're gonna get here in time for me to actually use them with this kit. Maybe I'll do the background first since I have some red and pink ABs to use. Maybe I'll do that first and I'll save working on the middle. I could use, I could work on the bunny too and just save. That'll be interesting. I've never done that before. I usually just kind of go in rows. I've never actually like left sections for myself before. So I'll have to see. It's hard to do that with cover sheets. Maybe I'll dig out my old partridge papers, my parchment sheets, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I can just leave kind of the silvery flowers and parts of the wreath undone until I get the pixie dust drills. But first I got to decide which ones I want to buy. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.